Hey guys, Rugged Elf here. How y'all doing today? Um, I want to work on a um, quest that I've been doing. Um, want to give do a video to show y'all about the Atlas Path, but to in order to do that, you need to finish the Artemis quest, and I'm not as sure how it involved how far the Artemis quest goes because when I'm looking in on this you see the thing it's called the purge so when I'm doing this purge they want you to fly toward the get galactic core and when you see it down in the bottom right here you'll see the purge it says the atlas sequence 3 of 16 I wanted to do this fresh for you guys but all I've been doing is I just, I was look, jumping around looking for some exotic ships to show y'all. But it started doing this. So I figured, let me start, you know, let me do this purge thing. And let's, you know, it's been a while. I'm not exactly sure how it ends up. But let's, um, let's do this together. And let's see where it comes and takes us. Okay. Like I said, it's been a while. I'm not sure how this works. But if I'm not mistaken, with this one, you see, it's giving me the Atlas path. But if I just find a system and I fly to this system, I want to do the Atlas path to show you guys how to um how to get to another system or with your choice of systems there's like four different systems you could go to so I want to show this but I'm not exactly sure how this is going to end up or if it's going to take me right into the Atlas path so this might take a little bit so let's you know let's see what happens so we come out here so I'm gonna fly because I've been getting these messages, and I'll show you when I get to them. See, it says, data injection, sequence received, source unknown. Okay. And now at the bottom, it's told me the Atlas sequence is 4 of 16. So, I got about 12 more jumps to make. And I'm going to hang around with you guys and see how this works out. Okay. So, well, while I'm here... I don't want to waste too much time in here, but let's see what kind of guns they have. Always got to check the guns, you know that. Eh, crabby. So, it's like I like to hang around to see what kind of ships come in. Maybe I could kill two birds, but I don't want to waste a whole lot of time doing that. So basically what I want to do though is I want to um, go to these different systems, just come into the station, make a save, not looking too promising here, so make a save here and then we're going to head off to the next one, okay? So. And just keep pushing me to that Atlas station. So you notice I'm finding three star systems too. That way I can come check them out in a little more depth later on. And I basically, I want to come in here, guys, because, you know, depending on it, you can um, use a teleporter to get back to it. If I just see, there's my data injection, sequence received, source unknown, number 5 of 16. So, we need to wait for that to pop up before I can jump. I'm not going to go into all these space stations. I just like to see what kind of guns they have on sale. 
Very nice B. You're only missing two slots. If you like the crappy orange color, man, yeah, it don't matter. I did find a cool alien um, multi-tool in one of the systems when I noticed that the um, the sequence was starting. I took a couple pictures of it. I will post the glyphs for that on my um, Twitter page. So if you want to see the multi-tool, you're going to be able to do that. No. Oh. I don't know. Actually, let's go a little. Where's the core? Sending me that way, but the core is this way. So let's go toward the core. Because this one, the purge is telling me to go toward the core. And we're going to look and we're going to jump. See how far out we can go. And I can take guarantee I'm going to have me a um pirate fight sometime soon uh how would it i'm not worrying about all that i'm not going to spend all that time doing this all right let's just jump i want to jump i got about 11 more to do So, I'm not even going to stop in the station this time. I just want to fly around and I want it to pick up the sequence. There it is, data injection. Six of 16, let's fly. Ten more. I want to see where it takes us. So. If you have or if you haven't, you know what? I don't even have to go far to run the sequence. So, or it's tell me I don't have to go far to do the sequence. I don't know if this is going to take me to another system or not, but sequence receives or unknown seven. Let's go. If you guys know me, if I usually when I go warp and such, I'm going to, I'm trying to get uh, three stars. Just so when I do it, I can look for some ships for you guys too. But other than that, oh, excuse me. Come on, give me my sequence. Sequence received, source unknown. 8 of 16, let's do this. It's still taking me to that Atlas station now. So where are we at? 540,000. Yes, and you don't have to go exactly to the center of the galaxy with these things, especially with the Atlas path. I do know that. But you got to collect a lot of um, atlas orbs to do that. So that's why I'm not sure if this is going to be similar. Or if it's going to take me anywhere. Or if it's just going to finish. A, um, who's talking to me? You are not alone. You can't go to the center. You can't. 
Nah, I'm going, dude. You can't do this. You can't. Well, it's all in just in fear, my. Okay. Why? I'll be my little toddler today. Not my toddler, but a toddler today. Why? Couldn't die without seeing everything that was to see. What did Noel did? He committed. I've committed atrocities, traveler. It's always been me or them. You go to center, you want to reset everything. Yeah, that's what makes, that what makes it fun. Yeah. Adios. Alright. Let's do this. Got my sequence. Show me my sequence. Oop. How much I got plenty of fuel. Clack the core. I'm gonna have some sort of life on us in these systems. So I am guessing we'll find out what's gonna happen when we get done with this. Bunch of criticals, but nobody trying to beat me up yet. Come on. Sequence. Source unknown. Blah, blah, blah. Nooba, nooba, wapa, wapa. Ten left. Six to go, guys. I may have to redo my, um, my fuel. Alright, so, now we're going to... Galactic core, blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to take y'all on the adventure with me. Let's see. Everybody wants to see the fun end stuff. So... I guess if you want to see that, you'll have to watch the end of the video. You can always skip to the end. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. There's my sequence. I don't want a planetary charge. I want my sequence. Alright. Sequence received. Eleven. Here we go. Five more guys. So this is, as you saw, we communicating with Null. This is part of the um, Artemis quest. I don't know if it's directly involved with it. I don't. I'm not sure if. Let's put it this way. I'm not sure if when you. I'm going to give some spoilers here, but you know, when you find Artemis has died and you take care of his body, I am not sure if you are going to, if that ends the Artemis quest, or if you got to complete all this stuff too. Because after you get through all this stuff, then it, um... The quest goes away, and you still have that um, Atlas path to do. So I want to see what the end of this is, and how this ends.
and then I will do a video on the Atlas Path to do it. But in order to do the Atlas Path, you can do the Atlas Path as much as you want. But you're not going to be able to access another galaxy or another solar system until you complete the Artemis. You can go through the whole works and whatnots and yeah, let's load up. Right. You can do the whole thing, but you're not going to be able to access the center galaxy until the um You're not going to be able to access that galaxy until you get to um, finish this quest. So, I've been trying a few days to try to get this done. And they keep making you do a bunch of stupid little crap. Between that and the dickhead sentinels that you go, they send you to do your quest. Go to a planet. Okay, so you're on a aggressive sentinel planet as soon as you get out of your ship you get attacked you take care of all that they deactivate you walk about 10 feet and then they attack again it's like God. if any of you see my twitter you saw my rant about that <laughs> Okay, so we got two. Got two more. And like I say, it's been so long since I've done this, I have no idea where it's going to go after the next jump. So I guess we will all find out together. Sequence for Sunnum. Fifteen of sixteen. All right, let's do this, guys. Last one. So. I saw one. I want to pick a. I want a good planet for my my last jump. Because I don't know if I'm going to die. And I don't know if they're going to send me off. And I don't want my nice ship breaking. So. Alright. So we're here. I don't see any Atlas stations in the... Okay, locate and enter the final portal. Okay. So... Are you going to put me in the middle of space again? Gonna have enough, okay. I like how they did this approximate thing. That's good, at least it's daylight. Not too low. There it is. Alright, and we feel lucky. Ring. And there's a minor settlement too.
Alright. No. Are you gonna make me feed this thing? Do the whole time. I'm on the right side or no? Nope. Alright, let's run through. Let me make sure. Trust me. If they leave me when you go to these portals, they'll put you, you're dead in the middle of space. So you better be quick on your oxygen. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. Alright, let's load this thing up. So if any of you guys never used a portal before, you gotta give it gas to drive. Different components cost you different, so I try to use the least expensive ones, but it's not mattering really, it, depending on how many um, resources that you do have, it's, I mean, it's not matter. I do want to use some of my copper though, because I'm going to need some of that cadmium. I'm not getting any more ships, so I'm not getting any more. No freighter, so I don't need to worry about warp drive. 16, 16, 16. A lot is protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. Yes, portal shivers as I look at it. Never quite resting long enough for my eyes to pro process it fully. I must focus. And we activate the portal. See, we're doing the quest here. I don't have to put glyphs in. So they automatically take the glyphs. They have their own presets. So, you get to these things and you want to go find a ship. Oh. Alright, so put me on a planet this time. Anomalous planet. Cool. You don't have much time. Breach, breach, breach. Warning anomalous signal detected. Uh, let's get a good view. I'm running out of gas. Alright, I made it. Didn't think I was going to. Get a nice look. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bye, Felicia. Okay. There we go. Missile. Oh, my. My cape did a little thingy there. Oh, the big bubble. Okay. How you doing, sir? Watches me cry out. Hey, yo. I'm talking to you. Thinking of my journey. Think of all the things that I've seen. Artemis who just wanted to meet other travelers. Who wanted to end their loneliness. Come on, man. I'm talking to you. Thinking of Apollo who gave me purpose when all the purpose seemed lost. All right. Um, you know... You're being rude now. I just, you need to start speaking with me, okay? Thinking of it all, thinking of how they lived. What choices they made, the path that led me to this end. 
I cry out again and there's no return. I cry out and must make my final choice. Come on, bitch, talk to me. Artemis once said that they had first reached out to the heavens. They had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. And you know, just because you think you're a god doesn't mean that you can't answer me. So, I'm finally going to get to it. You didn't like the bitch part, did you? Huh? Traveler, ain't stand my ground. Speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when this happens, when I woke up next to my ship. Had I spent perform a reset? Had someone else? Everything's coming to an end. Perhaps all of this left is to learn is the final truth of the simulation. I know who the travel truly are. And then a thousand galaxies will be gone and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. Ask if there's another way. Refuse the atlas. Let's do the reset. Oh, crap. I broke it. I have to know what happened. Mm. Oh, this is it. Oh, I don't want to do this. I won't break all my shit. Is my ship up here? No! Oh, you butthead. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Alright. So, actually you get to travel to a few different galaxies. Here we go, guys. These are all the different galaxies you get to visit. And at least I at least want to swap out my gun. Not that one. <laughs> Sorry, wasting time now. Yeah, you're already broke. I don't care. All right, so. This will make a good picture moment. This will be my... This will be my thumbnail for my... I'll make this my thumbnail for my, um... My video. Sweet. Alright, so here's how we do it. Atlas Path is a little different, but it does end this way. So, actually, it's pretty cool. Okay, so you have the red one, the creation, the Atlas Interface, okay? So the interface is here, a burning galaxy. Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, entire existence, and the attempt to witness its own impediment death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. So, this is going to be... You're going to have a lot of hot planets, and it's going to be a lot of hot stuff on this one. So, but you don't have to do the first one you pick. So, you can go and check them all out, okay? So, we'll leave this, and we'll come over here. So, now we'll come over to the green one, okay? So, that's the creation. The Helicon Halcyon Galaxy. Okay, Atlas create a simulation of the world, its entire existence, and attempt 
witness its own impending death and wishes to show me its past, its future. See, choose this one, or you can leave. So let's see what the rest of them are going to be for you. All right. And it's the creation. This is the ancestral galaxy. Atlas created a similar world, la la la, and it wishes to see its death, past, and future. So this one. Uh, I know one of these last two, are, one's going to be cold, and one's going to be like anomalous. So, I'll pick, when I do this, I'll pick another one to do my atlas path. So this is a parallel galaxy, so this is going to be similar to what we have now, and what you, where you are in um, Euclid. So if you pick this one, you you know you're going to stick with that similar stuff. Now, just granted, you get to these galaxies, okay? The ships, the guns, and all that stuff—they're not going to be any better, any worse than what they are now. They're all going to be the same. So it's like Euclid. You have like a, a mixture. You got your hot planets, your cold systems, your beautiful systems, and all that stuff. These are going to have a little bit more cold than what you do. These are going to be more hot than what they do, than what the normal is. This, they're going to be a lot more paradise planets and such. So, for our purposes, okay, before you pick, let's do this. We're going to do an inventory. Because remember I told you before when we went through the galaxy, okay? Everything in here is going to break. Everything in here is going to break. Everything in your gun is going to break. So whatever you have, especially with your ship, you want to make sure that your launch thrusters are in your, and your pulse drive are in your technology, okay? Because that way, wherever you're at, you'll be able to call that ship in, okay? So here, this is all my extra life support and shields and hazard protection. So in my technology, I do have my jet pack, so I'll be able to jump. Have three of them, not as well. I got some shield. I have my hazard protection. Now, if you go and life support. So, if you go to these galaxies and you have any of your life support or hazard protection in your main section, it's going to be breaking. So, you're not going to be able to breathe. You're not going to be, have any protection. So, if you get to a planet and it's going to be cold or hot and stuff, your hazard protection is going to be dropping. Real, You won't have any hazard protection. You'll instantly take damage. Okay, and the same with the breathing until you can get that oxygen and hazard protection fixed. So please make sure at least your life support and your hazard protection is in technology. Okay, so I am not sure. I'm going to end up visiting all of them because you can do the Atlas Pass multiple times. But for you guys, I'm going to hit this green one. Usually sends you to a like a paradise planet so you don't have to worry about your life support maybe a little bit of life support but not your hazard protection okay so and we're going to hit this we're going to reset the simulation so it's going to take you out of the Euclid galaxy it's going to put you in a new one now there are if you go to the galactic core there are hundreds of, if not thousands, of new galaxies that you can visit. So the purge will take you to this one. I like this one, taking the green one, just because it will put you, normally it will put you in the Eisentam galaxy. Eisentam is a very nice system. You know, the good planets and... And then this way you get this. You have to have at least one base on every galaxy. So you get your trout, their teleporter. You can travel between your galaxies. And get back and forth to do what you want to do.
All right, so we're leaving the Eyes and Tam Galaxy. And see what they give us. All right. New galaxy, and we're going into Eisentam. So the green one usually is Eisentam. They have nice planets. It's, you know, a nice place to set up. I think a lot of people have been here already. Because you do have to, once you finish the purge, to everybody, they make everybody move. Now, when I first started doing them, you know, and you see them four galaxies there, the red one looks hot. The blue one looks cold. The turquoise one looks iffy. So uh, I might do I might do that when the next one I do the Atlas path. So here I am. I am in Eisentam. So it's a temperate. You know the Sentinels are observant. So they give you the system. So you are using oxygen. So and you get a remembrance. So to make the remembrance, you need a heart of the sun. The heart of the sun is one of is the last um, atlas component you get before you go to the room we were just in to get to a new galaxy. You need the heart of the sun to get to that new galaxy, okay? So, and just to show you that, you know, I wasn't fibbing you, okay? Take a look. Here you go. So, everything in my ship general ship is broken so my technology is fine all my stuff here is broken okay now my gun was already broke so I didn't care maybe it's double broke <laughs> so I that's why I keep that one for traveling so but all my stuff and technology is fine so I can breathe I have hazard protection and I can jump I can't jump too high but works for too long now until I get my stuff fixed. So, but the first thing you want to do when you get in here, okay, is if you're like me and you have all your storage containers in your freighter, call in your freighter. It comes right into you, okay? Then you can bring your ship in, all right, because your launch thrusters and your pulse drive is still working okay so, now let's take a look at this real quick when you come in here you notice you got a new beginning okay a new galaxy awaits your universe yours to explore I've accepted the guidance of the Atlas what choice did I have? I am part of the Atlas. I am nothing without it. I do not know how long I have before the machine is destroyed, before the simulation ends. But I do know that I have the freedom of infinite worlds, infinite galaxies, and it's mine to explore, explore as I will. There is nothing but to do but enjoy the journey. Okay, so you're free, you're just free to do anything that you want, okay? Now, they will tell you, you can hit the space anomaly, it will tell you to, um, you know, go visit Nada and Apollo and let them know what you did, how you did, and how you felt after you did it. So, and then, you, like I said, you can continue on the Atlas path now, too. So, and you still have all your other, you know, expeditions, so you're good to go. So, let's go up here, and I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to take a look, and want to show you what's going on with stuff. So, once you get in here and you leave the planet, usually, you know, if you didn't do the thing with your ship, then it's, you're usually about 500 U away from 
what you're you know where you're at so usually put you it's a bountiful planet high sentinel activity though but luckily we weren't being barraged by them so but what i want to do though is check and you go to the galaxy map and it puts you you yeah, know roughly where you started from once you hit that atlas set okay so 531,960 light years from the center of the galaxy. So they just drop you right in the middle of everything. So you can free explore your atlas. And they even give you an atlas path on here too. So if you just want to go here and hit another system, you know, you can. Make sure you fix your shit first. And that's what I'm doing now. Okay, I'm going to head out here. I'm going to go to the space station. I'll show you, you know, everything looks about similar. Uh, let's do the scan while we're coming in here. So that's icebound with aggressive sentinels. Bountiful planet. So I just want to say, you do pretty decent with these. I don't know if I can get this one lined up to... Or can... So there's a molten planet. So you still have similar planets and stuff. Object of interest. I don't have really good guns to to do that. Is it going to come in? Nah, I waited too long. Sorry. All right, visit your old friends in the space station. Summon the anomaly in the quick menu. Right. So they want you to talk to Apollo. And not, uh, but your main priority once you get in here, you know, I said, I knew I should have shot, sh changed my ship before I, <laughs> before, before I did this. So, cause I have a crap load of stuff to fix. Okay. Just to show you again, there's my ship, there's my suit, everything and creation is broke. So first thing I can do, I can fix I can fix this. So and here, yeah, actually let me show you this. And my one system that I went to that I had this is the gun that I picked up. You know. So I got this one. I thought that looked pretty cool. But all right, I'm not going to sit here and show you how I fix all my stuff, you know. One thing, if you don't have, oh, uh, how many I got. You want your repair part, you know. You get your repair kits. Now, you get these from going through um, desolate freighters out in the space. When you go run through them, you get pick up your supplies. You see how many of them I have. I did not glitch them. I just been through that many freighters on there. So, but just to show you real quick, okay. Um, you know, if you have, you can look through. If you have the components to fix it, you can, okay. All right, this thing. So, Walker Brain. So, my complex scanner. All right, so I can fix that. So, let's do this. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'll hit this. And when I come down here, I don't have it. But if you look at the bottom, I can hit X and hit, you apply a repair kit. And I can fix it. Okay, so that's fixed. So, that's what I say. If there's things that you have, some things you can build. You know, the stuff I can build, I'll build. You know, some of the things that, you know, that's why I'm in a space station, too, because some of these things like like raw material components and stuff like that, you know, you may, I know one of these needs um, ammonia. I don't have ammonia, so I'll probably use the repair kits for those. Okay, so, but that's what we got to do. What got you to the other side of the galaxy? Got you to a third. This is a second galaxy I've taken you to now. So, y'all can go travel. Make sure you have yourself a crappy ship and a crappy gun before you do it. And you won't have any problems. 
don't get caught with your pants down. So if you got a crappy ship, make sure you swap it out. Get your freighter, swap it out before you get to that last point or on that last point before you go to the um, teleporter, to the portal. Okay, so that's how it happens. I'll see all you guys later. Have a good one and I'll see you on a rebound. Thanks.